weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. All right, beautiful weather out there on this Tuesday afternoon. Live look from the WLKY Chopper HD. This is St. X High School, and this is the incoming freshman football team right there. Not sure if they're wrapping up for the day or they're just starting, but I'll tell you what, we just watched them run some sprints, and we watched them do 40 yarders, 50 yarders, then 100 yard sprints. I remember those days. It's like, Oh man, coach, come on, give me a break. Well, that's what they're going through. At least the weather is beautiful out there. We've got that nice breeze, low humidity, temperatures pleasantly warm, 80 degrees, the official high morning start of 55. Outside right now in town and even 80, the humidity 33% of west breeze in here, still upwards of 25 miles an hour and gusting even higher than that in spots. You can see around the viewing area, it's just a beautiful June afternoon. As cool as 73 right now in Springfield, up to the 80 in town, as well as Hardensburg. Everybody will kind of stay put the next couple of hours and then slowly start to drop off. One thing I am watching, although much of the viewing area is void of any rain, little disturbance off to the north generating a broken band of showers and a few storms, and these are now creeping into our far, far northern communities, places like northern Jackson County, northern Lawrence County, northern Jennings County. They are moving off towards the east and also the southeast, and the best chances for a few showers the next couple, three hours, again, are far north and northeastern communities. I think the metro stays dry, points off to the south. It's going to be a beautiful evening with the exception of that shower chance well to the north. All right, you can see what's happening here. We've had the beautiful weather on this Tuesday. You go just off to the north northeast, quite a bit of rain is wrapping around a big upper level low, a few embedded thunderstorms. This upper level low is actually what's responsible for the gusty weather out there today and the temperature's staying a little bit cooler than average, but this thing is finally getting a kick off towards the east and also the northeast. That's why temps over the next couple, three days will start coming up. Here's your future cast this evening. Watch what happens. There's that chance for a shower or two to the north and northeast of the metro, again from Louisville and Point South. We stay dry, just a few passing clouds. When you wake up in the morning, dry skies will greet you. It's gonna be pleasantly cool again, a few passing clouds. Low to middle 60s as we're looking at 64 a start time temperature in the metro. And I do think we'll see quite a few clouds from time to time tomorrow. It won't be the world's brightest day, more clouds than what we had today. And there's even going to be a slight chance for an isolated or stray shower. Most will stay dry, but there will be that threat with these clouds rotating through. Otherwise, temperatures comfortable again, as we'll be a little bit below average. Easy on the pocketbooks, upper 70s and low 80s for your Wednesday as we're looking at 83 in town for tomorrow afternoon. Here's the forecast in detail, take you through the evening, partly cloudy, breezy, a couple of showers to the north and northeast of the metro, 70s will transition back into the 60s. Your detailed 12 hour forecast for tomorrow, we start out at 64, we climb into the mid 70s by lunch hour, tomorrow's high right around 83 and again, can't rule out an isolated shower. Most will stay dry, and I do think everybody will be dry Thursday and Friday, middle and upper 80s. Pick of the weekend right now, Vicki, is Saturday, upper 80s, some sunshine, because on Dad's Day, there will be a chance for a few scattered storms later in the afternoon. If by chance Dad has a tea time, best chances probably in the morning because that rain chance goes up Sunday afternoon. What's the best chance if Mom's grilling out for Dad's day? <laughs> thousand percent right now. <laughs>